What's going on YouTube? It's Jesse coming back to you with another video and in this video I want to talk specifically about how to update your Google Workplace profile picture which will improve your branding when you're cold emailing and this is a step a lot of people don't know about don't think about or they don't even know how to set it up. I know extremely experienced marketers that are still to this day not using this feature uh, maybe because they haven't thought about it I don't know or they just simply don't know how to do it. It took me probably six hours to figure out how to do this of nonstop working on this one subject. It took me six hours to figure this out. And it's gonna seem super simple when we do it, but it, it's a huge pain in the ass if you don't know what you're doing. Also, if you're not part of the Facebook group, definitely go get inside below. We'd love to have you aboard. And also, if you're looking for coaching, it's a six month program to get you to a job quitting income as fast as possible, writing emails for businesses or becoming a closer or setter, whichever road you wanna go down, it's all inside the HFM program. I would recommend you book a call to discuss that if that interests you, uh, instead of having to try to figure everything out on your own, where I dive into you know the tools you're gonna use, the softwares, all the templates, scripts, everything you need to run a six-figure freelancing business. But you get six months direct access to me, so there's pretty much no excuse if you're not succeeding. You just gotta do the work, that's it. So what I'm gonna show you again in this video is me updating the profile picture for your Google Workspace account. It used to be G Suite, but now it's Google Workspace. And why is this important? Because it's branding. Everything you do, I got a cold email from someone today. I didn't like their branding, I'm not gonna respond to it, okay? You gotta set yourself apart and do the extra steps these agencies and these other people that are cold emailing don't wanna do. And it, again, it took me literally like six hours to figure this out. A full blown grinding. And it, it's when you see me do this, it's not gonna seem like a six hour thing to figure out, but it was. I was on forums, talking to Google tech support, all that shit, and I'm just gonna give it to you right now for free. Let's dive into my computer and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so first things first, you're gonna wanna get into your uh, admin Google account. So you're literally gonna type in admin login, or I would type in admin Google login into Google, and then you're gonna go into the workspace. Now this is for a email address that you've already bought that has the .com in it. So let's just say your website was uh, wewriteemails.com, okay? Then you would put, and let's just say your name is Brian. Your email would be brian at wewriteemails.com. So that's what you're cold emailing with. But you know when you send a cold, when you send an email to someone, you have that little profile picture in the top left corner that you can see? Well, it's easy as hell if you're just re using a regular Gmail account. It's stupid easy. You just go switch it out on your Google profile. There's gazillions of tutorials on how to do that. I don't think I have to show you how to do that. You just go to your profile and update the picture. It's easy as hell. But with a .com email address, Google, aka Google Workspace account, it's remember, it's not G Suite anymore, it's Google Workspace, you've got to do one extra step, which is a pain in the ass to figure out. But the reason you have to do this step is because Technically, when you have a .com, you know, user .com email, you are essentially acting as a business, right? Even though you're one person. Normally, free, freelancers are one person. So, you got to treat it like it's a business, and there's multiple people in the business. You got to treat it like that. And I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. It's not just a personal email account. It's a business account. You're the admin to the business account, which can have many different emails. So, you could have, let's just say it's wewriteemails.com. It could have you know, 14 different people on that account. So you could have Brian at wewriteemails.com. You could have Bill at wewriteemails.com. You have to just, you have to give privileges to each one of those users, even though you're the only user on the account because you're a one person freelancing business, to have the function to update the profile picture. So what you would do is, it's very simple. This took me literally six hours of grinding and multiple nights of it fucking up. And I had to like get on, you know, keep trying, wait 48 hours to have it update. That would, that's what Google would say. And I was on all the forums and they give you different advice. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. Here's how to do it. You go to directory. So you're in your admin account, directory settings. And then so you directory, directory settings. And then you would go to profile editing. And then you would click profile picture here. It will be unselected when you find it your first time. You select it, hit save, and that's it. You wait. And your profile picture, well, you have to obviously put the profile picture in now that you updated this. So 
click this profile picture now go put your picture on the account which you can do by going to um, you know over here and go to your, your Google account all right your Google account and then that's how you do it this is probably not gonna be the longest YouTube video you've watched in a while but it's very important that you do this step in my opinion a lot of people are cold emailing they're not using pictures again I had a, someone email me today they didn't have a picture in their profile I, I, I kind of want to see their face who I'm talking to right I'm gonna be doing business with that person long term I don't have any picture I don't know who the hell they are I gotta look up their website and find their fucking you know see their fucking face somewhere I get tons of cold emails from businesses they don't use this feature. I don't know why they're not doing it. So definitely implement it into your freelancing business ASAP. You will stand out from the others that are not doing this by a long shot. So hope you found massive value in this video. Again, make sure to hop on into the HFM program below. Would love to have you and teach you how to escape your soul-sucking 9-to-5 job as fast as possible using exactly what allowed me to quit my 9-to-5 corporate job and start living the freedom lifestyle. I don't report to a boss anymore. And it is, I will never go back to working a job because it's absolutely shitty, at least in my opinion. You know, your situation might be different, but I don't know many people that don't want to be free from corporate America. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. Peace.